Okay, hi guys, welcome to the Street Manager training video. We are logged in here as the admin of this HA account and we're gonna run through quickly the organization profile and what you can do on that page and then how you would add a contractor. So it's not the most exciting thing in the world necessarily, but let's have a quick squiz at the organization profile. Uh, so you can see here we've got our, um, our reference, our name, place to give our address, etc. So we can click on, as the admin, we can click on change organization details. And uh, obviously we won't go messing with this, but here we can um, change certain things. We can't, of course, change the organization name or the reference. The reference should never change. Um, if the name changes, you raise a ticket with the support desk and we can uh, change that for you. Um, the idea would be to keep them aligned with the, the names as they appear in the, the kind of geoplace list of references, but it's not always easy to do that. So, uh, now the other thing I wanted to do is um, show people the contractor organisation. So, um, we've got three added already here, which is great. If we go to add contractor organisation, um, if you type in, well, give me a letter, Cat. You wouldn't do this in real life, but just literally give me a letter um, and now search. And what this does is this has uh, given you everyone with the letter H in their name somewhere. So um, it's not a search. That's, it's not looking for the first letter. Um, it's just literally there is a um, an H in light source. So it's given us that one. Um, obviously, you can do more refined searches, you know, if you just wrote in um, light, for instance, let's see what that does. No, literally just do light. Oh. Um. Um, well, no, that's fine. That's fine. You've, 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 you've ruined the whole thing. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Light. Um, yeah, there, there we go. go. So you've got the five people with the word light in them as part of their name. Um, so then if you choose one of those cat at random, and if you go down, um, I think, yeah, there you go. Um, go on, let's do it. Let's add contractor organization. So you will now see, Kat, that we have got four people in this list now. Um, and whilst you're removing that, I will um, just um, uh, explain a quick thing. Um, remove access. We won't do it, Kat, but you saw there, if you, if you go into another one of these uh, that we've got now, and scroll down, you see there, don't click on it, but we've got view and manage organization user permissions. And all that stuff is exactly the same as managing your own permissions. You can see all the users for this organization and you can just give one person or five people or all of them the access to just one work stream or all of the work streams or all the stuff we saw in the other video that we did about permissions it's identical for a contractor. It just means that the contractor has got the ability to have access to your work streams um, and work streams from another organization and they can move between the two. But in terms of the control you have as the promoter, you've got total control about what they um, access. Yeah, so don't panic if you go into um organization users here they won't appear there they'll only appear if you go into them through the contractors tab thank you very much cat 